Would you like to see things from a different perspective? Well, you can. And it creates some very cool effects. So let's do it. Let me first just show you what perspective is. If we go into View and Organize Photos, um, if you look in the Samples folder, um, there's that photo of the dog. That's a perspective shot, I'll show you. Well, it reveals uh, the perspective. So, let's All right, so the dog, the dog, okay. Okay. See how all these lines are going this way? This shows you the perspective of the shot. It's a head-on shot of the dog, but the veranda, we're not, we're not standing long ways when, when these were, the, the shot was taken. You weren't standing like right here on the edge with your foot and looking straight down, otherwise the shot would be different. And they would appear to go, instead of this way, they'd go straight in front of you. But this is the perspective it was shot at. So that perspective can be changed in certain photos. And you can just, if you have several layers, you can change certain things, um, certain layers only, um, and change that perspective. Or you can change the perspective of the whole image. So I thought a good example for that would be this image we've included in the, in the samples folder. This is something I created with Photoshop CS2. So let's pull this into the editor, the standard editor. As you notice, we're using the standard editor a lot more than the, uh, the quick one, the one that is very simplistic, the quick fix one. All right, it says some text layers might need to be updated before they can be used, blah, blah, blah. Um, do you want to update these layers? I'm going to say update. All right. Now, if you notice, there's several layers here. We have new release as a layer, the extraordinary's choice as a layer down here. The necklace, the blue spot, and the background, which is black. So, let's click or highlight layer two, which is the necklace. And we're going to go to image, transform. There's lots of different ways we can transform, but right now we're going to transform perspective. And it creates this bounding box around it where you can grab any of these corners to change the perspective. So just pull around and experiment. And you'll see what each of the corners does when you move it. If I grab this and pull it left, it makes the bottom small like that. If I grab the corner and pull it to the right, See how it changes? So, let's try changing this until it looks good. Wow, you can even. <laughs> you can let go and grab another piece, the middle here, for instance. So it, now that it looks a lot more like um, uh, we're looking at it long ways rather than just flat on. So once you get the perspective the way you want it, just hit your enter button on the keyboard twice, and it'll save that perspective. Now I'm going to grab the extraordinaire's choice, that lettering, and I want to transform it. Now you notice it doesn't allow me, it's grayed out right now. Well, if I right-click over that layer, and I simplify that layer, now it'll allow me to transform the perspective of that lettering. Now, we could grab the bottom. Whoops. Grab a corner here. Pull it out like that. See 
see how that changes the perspective of the whole the whole thing. So once you get it the way you want, double click. See now it looks like that letter is more the letters are more 3D. And if we wanted to, we could do it um, oops. We could do it with the new release also. So let's experiment some more. Image transform. Oh, I have to simplify that layer. Right click, simplify layer. Image transform. Whoops. Perspective. Let's see what we can do with this. Oh, there we go. Look at that. And you could grab the center of it and move it around too. And then double click when it looks good to you. And there we go. It's an odd, odd perspective of this. But nonetheless, um, it was a good example to show you um, how you can change the perspective of objects as well as lettering. So it can make it look more 3D or simply angle it up like that to change the perspective. So you see that how this still looks flat, except it looks angled up, whereas this doesn't look flat. It looks three-dimensional like it's going off into the distance. So there's several ways to change a perspective of something. Uh, if you're familiar with photography, you already know about perspective, but um, it's just the way you're looking at an object. It's the same object, it's, but it's just the way, um, it's, the, it's another word to describe the view. So you'll be using perspective a lot um, to create some interesting effects. Enjoy.